What is up, everybody? It's Accord and Seth. You already know what it is. We are talking about the new Netflix movie, Do Revenge, which honestly was pretty awesome. Um, I love this movie. I thought it was great. First of all, the cast is incredible. Camila Mendez and Maya Hawk need to do more films together. Maya Hawk, by the way, steals the show, though. She is phenomenal, and it honestly... You can tell in her facial expressions and some of the, like, times she speaks throughout the film that, like, she pulls acting from her, like, or mannerisms, I should say, from her father, freaking Ethan Hawke, and then her mother, Uma Thurman. Like, you can see both of them in her, but I feel like more so Uma Thurman pops up in this film. Basically, the premise is pretty simple. You have two girls who basically want to do revenge on the people who wronged them. And when I tell you I didn't see the twist coming... I didn't, and neither will you. I literally, for the first half of this movie, was thinking, like, trying to come up with ways in my mind to make the movie make sense on, like, where the direction was going. Like, I was like, oh, maybe it's going to go this way, or maybe it's going to go this way. But I was completely off. Um, also, Austin Abrams, who you might know from Dash and Lily, uh, which, by the way, got, like, shut down way too early. I was, I, I was excited for season two. Um, but dude plays the perfect asshole. Like, the perfect asshole. The whole cast was great. Also, how could we forget Sarah Michelle freaking Geller is in this shit? Let's go! She's back! Um, we need more roles with her as soon as possible, but that was, that was also a highlight. Honestly, this cast was great. It basically is like Mean Girls with a dash of Clueless, John Tucker Must Die, and Heathers. Honestly, it like encompasses something from all of those films. And it just does it so well, in my opinion. Like, this film was a fun one. And it's heartfelt, it's sad at times, it's funny, it's literally everything you could want. And it honestly, at the end of the day, might be one of my favorite Netflix films that they've produced. Um, all in all, I'm giving this one a solid 8 sets out of 10. If you're looking for just a great film, just something fun to watch, check this one out. Like I said, it's on Netflix, so like, how could you not?